Hello everyone, this is your partner in education, Agile Rank Mate. Today we welcome you to a new segment titled Viti Workshop. Viti is the engineering entrance exam required to enter the Veller Institute of Technology. And today in this segment we're going to be looking at some questions, some sample questions, which will help you crack this particular exam. Today we will be looking at some questions from the subject of biology. So let's start off. Here's our first question. Toco for all stands for vitamin A, vitamin E, vitamin C, vitamin K. So we know the vitamins by their uh, by these names, however they are chemical, so they do have certain chemical names. So toco for all stands for which of these vitamins? A, C, E, or K. So let's look at each of the options. Option A is vitamin A. Vitamin A um, is represented by the chemical name retinol and it, effect, and it affects the uh, pigments in the eyes. So option A is incorrect. What about option C, vitamin C? Well, vitamin C is water soluble and it's an acid called ascorbic acid. So therefore option C is also incorrect. What about option D? vitamin K. Vitamin K is fat soluble and its chemical name is phyloquinone. So therefore option D is also incorrect. The correct option is option B, vitamin E. So vitamin E's chemical name is tocopherol. Now remember it is important to memorize the chemical names as well for exams so that you can get an edge and you can use the elimination method in order to find out which of these is the correct option. Now let's move on to a similar question. Scurvy, the disease, is caused due to the deficiency of which vitamin? A, B, E, or C? So, how are we solving this question? Well, vitamin deficiency diseases are some of the very common diseases that we find. So let's look at each of the options. Option A is Defici deficiency of vitamin A. That causes night blindness. So therefore option A is incorrect. Scurvy is where you experience bleeding of gums. So therefore night blindness is totally different. Now option B is vitamin B. Deficiency of vitamin B causes another disease called beriberi and not scurvy. So option B is incorrect. What about option C, vitamin E? Why, the, the deficiency of vitamin E is fatal because it causes miscarriages. So therefore, option E is also incorrect. The right answer is option D, vitamin C. Scurvy is, the, is caused due to the deficiency of vitamin C. And that's the reason why uh, Packing up fruits rich in vitamin C is very important, otherwise you may get this disease. And it was very common with sailors because they never had fresh fruits or vegetables. Now let's look at the final question of this episode. The contraction of gallbladder is due to the and is due to the hormone gastrin, secretin, cholecystokin, or and cholecystokinin or enterokinase. So which of these is the correct option? Now let's look at gastrin. The term gastrin implies that it has something to do with the gastric juice. And that is correct. It stimulates the secretion of gastric juice and it is also responsible for the churning movement in the stomach. So option A is incorrect. What about option D, enterokinase? Well, enterokinase is the enzyme is the hormone that converts trypsinogen into trypsin. Trypsinogen is inactive while trypsin is active. So option D is incorrect. What about option B? Secretin. Secretin stimulates secretion of water and bicarbonates in the bile and it also 
stimulates the pancreas to release pancreatic juice. So therefore, option B is also incorrect. It's option C, cholecystokinin, which stimulates the contraction of gallbladder. And this is important because when the gallbladder contracts, the bile that is stored gets released into the duodenum. So option C, cholecystokinin, is the right answer. Now that concludes this episode of Viti Workshop. We hope you found it interesting. For more of our useful and interesting content, don't forget to subscribe to your partner in education, Agile Rank Mate. If you love the video, then you can always uh, comment on it in the comment section down below or share it with others. And if you want to learn more about us, then you can always hit the notifications icon present below the video. If you have any opinions about the video, then you can post them in the comment section down below. So until we meet again, take care, stay alert. Bye-bye for now.